Hello, it's Desley here. Today we're going to talk about some ailments under the letter H. And the first one that comes to mind is hypoglycemia. Now hypoglycemia is caused by an over secretion of insulin, which causes low blood glucose and results in certain symptoms. Uh, these can include weakness, uh, feeling dizzy, uh, having confusion um, and mood swings. Um, the functional form of hypoglycemia is caused by a poor diet and they're generally uh, associated with those types of diets with simple sugars and high fats. Um, <clears throat> if you continue to eat this type of diet uh, then eventually it will lead to insulin resistance whereby the cells become less resistant to the uptake of glucose. Uh, the types of nutrients that help this condition are chromium, uh, B-group vitamins, uh, milk thistle, uh, eating small regular meals and avoiding stimulants such as caffeine. Uh, avocado is also very good for this condition. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is H. pylori. Now H. pylori is a bacteria that resides in the stomach uh, and it can cause a condition called gastritis, which is inflammation of the gastric lining. Um, some people uh, get this particular condition in childhood uh, and it can be asymptomatic but if you do display any symptoms, it will be generally be things like dyspepsia, um, indigestion and bloating. Um, there are various foods you should avoid with this condition. Uh, things like your citrus fruits, uh, tomato, uh, spicy foods in particular, uh, caffeine, uh, garlic and onions and mint flavorings. Uh, all exacerbate this condition. Um, you should have small meals, uh, less fat and fiber in your diet because this slows down transit time. Uh, and to treat this condition you need to look at healing the gut lining. So herbs like turmeric and licorice root are useful um, as well as a plethora of antimicrobial herbs. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about today is hypothyroidism. Now hypothyroidism is a low functioning thyroid. Um, people that display uh, thyroid problems can also have the autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's. Uh, the types of symptoms that you can get with this condition are things like um, uh, sensitivity to the cold, uh, lack of libido, uh, weight gain, constipation and depression. So you need to have a full thyroid panel carried out, um, looking at your level of thyroid stimulating hormone, as well as your, your free circulating thyroid, which is your free T3 and your free T4. Um, you also should uh, check your iodine levels as well. Uh, the nutrients that are required or helpful for this condition is your L-tyrosine and that's a precursor to your thyroid hormones um, as well as um, uh, your kelp which is high in iodine um, and there are certain nutrients for the thyroid to function well and those include your selenium, your zinc um, your, and your vitamin A. Um, so these are all very important um, thyroid nutrients. You can do the uh, thermometer test as well. So first thing in the morning, have an old fashioned thermometer, uh, place it to, uh, on your side table and before moving in the morning, put it under your armpit. And if you're consistently sitting around that 35.5 or lower, you should do it for about five days and then assess whether you need a thyroid test. Uh, don't do it for women, don't do it uh, in ovulation time. 
because you can get a spike. Okay, um, that's all today. So next time we will talk about uh, foods under the letter I. Uh, if you require further information, you can go to my webpage, uh, desilocknatural.com.au. Uh, or you can find me on Facebook at Desilock Naturopath. Um, and of course, you can always give me a call um, or recheck any of my previous YouTube uh, videos. Okay, thanks very much. See you next time. Bye.